I've wanted to make a video for a while, but I haven't had the energy. And I don't probably have the energy to make this video right now either, but it feels important. So I'm here with my, my bloodshot eyes, my tired face, my body that's in pain. I have a cold. I'm worn down. I'm exhausted. I'm sure you are too. It's been an incredible time. And if I look back on where I was this time last year, I was taking time off to record a practitioner course, which I thought I was going to be offering. That didn't work out. I've still got the recordings, it's not lost, and I might be you know, offering that when I have the energy to put it together in such a way to make it easy to understand. But this year has been a horrendous year for everybody. We've been bullied and threatened. We've lost people that we love. My brother-in-law died. My aunt nearly died and she's still in hospital. A boy in my son's class died last week, just dropped dead. Now we can jump to conclusions. We can get on our soapbox. We can scream and shout. But that's not why I'm here. That's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video so that everybody can come together in a heart space. People talk about compassion and love. And we've seen this year the difference between the people who talk about compassion and love and the people who practice. We have had so many disappointments as a collective to have our eyes open into the true nature of some of our fellow human beings, families and friends, has been a shock and many of us have been grieving. So take some time right now to acknowledge the grief that you might be carrying. Now, as I'm saying this, I'm hearing in my mind, what side are you on? What side are you on? What side are you on? That's been part of this too. What side are you on? I don't care. If you're coming into a space of love and compassion, then you're on my side. If you're leaving your fear outside, then we can do something together from a heart space. All of the things that have been said, all of the things that have not been said, all of the things that we're not allowed to say, all of these definitions that have been redefined to suit pushiness and fear, blackmail, emotional blackmail, that's not compassion and love. That's not healthy. Take a breath. This is the week, the shortest days in the north of the world. The longest days in the south of the world. This is the 12th month in 2021. And on the 21st day, it's a powerful, powerful time energetically. And you can choose. The only choice there is that is worth choosing is do you choose fear or do you choose love? There's no conditions as far as I'm concerned. People have said what they've said. People have been under hypnosis and trance on both sides, if we're gonna take sides. There's plenty of fear and vitriol and anger on both sides, if we're going to talk sides. Let's step away from sides and come into a heart space where there is no side. It's a field where I will meet you and we look into each other's eyes and we remember what humanity actually means. If you are in trouble, I will reach my hand out to you and help you up off your feet. 
would you do that for somebody else? That's humanity. Humanness. Compassion. We say things as they are. It can be hard to hear. And we're all tired. So everybody breathe with me. And yes, you can hear I've got a cold. And it's a cold. And I'm not worried and I'm not upset and I'm not running around because I'm not in fear. I trust my body. I trust that I am looked after. And when I need to sleep, I sleep. And when I want to eat, I eat. And when I don't want to eat, I don't eat. I have faith that there's something greater than I that moves through me and through you and through all of us that allows this light to come in, to shine, to amplify. So we see where the dark has been hiding all of these years and we can see it now because there's nowhere left for it to hide. Remember how powerful you are. Remember how powerful you are because the dark does not want you to remember that. It wants to keep you small and in fear. You're not small. You've just forgotten. You have just forgotten. So I hope that I can help you remember that when you step into that field of your heart with the vibration and frequency of love and you let go of everything that is not you and you remember who you are, you stand up to your full height, your full size and you say, I claim my space in the world. I claim sovereignty over my soul. And I choose love over fear. As I say these words, I'm feeling them tinged with fear. Some energy healers, some spiritual people will say you cannot feel love and fear at the same time. I disagree. Fear rises up in you to be released. Allow yourself to feel it with your heart in a space of love. Knowing what's true for you. I claim my space in the world. I claim sovereignty over my soul. And I claim love at the core center of the being that I am. And I banish fear from every cell in my body. I banish fear from my energy field, from the space where I live, from my environment. I banish fear. Feel the light. Feel how you rise. Compassion, kindness and generosity does not mean having to turn people from one side to another side. No, this is what compassion, love and generosity means. It means being who you are. That's it. So as horrendous and difficult and traumatizing and scary this year has been, it's also been a year that crushes that coal into the diamonds that we are becoming. Allow yourself to feel that. Allow yourself to be and rest. <clears throat> rest. Your body needs it with all of this light coming in. This cold is ascension symptoms. I've got a pain in my shoulder. It's ascension symptoms. My body adjusting to higher frequencies coming in. Jaw pain. What do you have? What's going on with your body? Don't be in fear. Trust the process, trust the journey. Now let's take a moment to bring down light together and anchor in the light into the world right now. Bringing your awareness down, 
Breathing in. As much as you can, breathing out into your heart now. Breathing out. Now dropping down into your center of power in your belly. Belly breathing. Belly breathing might feel a bit strange because we're all breathing from shallow, from our chest, from anxiety and fear. No, bring it down, a deep belly breaths. And that changes your body chemistry. Can you feel the change? Belly breath. Expanding and allowing the light, connecting your mind to the sun above your head and the sun above that sun and to source above that and feeling that energy coming through into the top of your head. Oh, my tummy made a noise already, so it's working. It's your digestion is the first to relax as you bring in the light into your face, down your neck into your shoulders and your arms, your chest and your back, down to your stomach, and feeling your hips going down your legs, your ankles and your feet and into the ground and expanding. You are a pillar of light. You are the lighthouse. I am the lighthouse. Say it. I am the lighthouse. I am the light. I am the light. I am the light. I feel the light growing. I'm filling up the room where you are right now. I am the light. I am the light filling up the building. I am the light filling up the road where you are. I am the light, the city or the town. I am the light, the country that you're in. I am the light. We're all doing this. I am the light. The light is me. I am the light and the light is me. And let it go. And how do you feel? A little bit of fear still left. You might need to do some work with your mind, with your thoughts. That's the crowbar that the burglars use to break in to you. They catch you by the hook of the thought. That's your weakness. Write it down and work on that. Eliminate that and stay in love. I wish you peace. Connecting to the light, remembering who you are and being in love, in love. That's what it means, being in love. May we create something wonderful together for next year. And when we are in this space, it gives me much more hope and joy. We disconnect from fear-based, coercive, tyrannical, bullying. They can't win. You know what happens to bullies every time. Trust your heart and know who you are and be in love and thank you for watching.